DC motor drives, are defined as amplifiers or power modules, that interface between a controller and a DC motor. They convert step and direction input from the controller to currents and voltages compatible with the motor. These units are sometimes called variable speed drives, referring to a majority of DC motor drives, which adjust shaft speed. In industry, a drive controller is a motor drive, which incorporates functions of a programmable logic controller, and drive interface to regulate the speed, torque, horsepower, and direction of a DC motor. A four-quadrant chopper circuit, can easily control the DC machine, whose rated power is below several tens of kilowatts. In particular, a DC servo motor, whose rating is less than a few kilowatts, is usually controlled by the circuit. In the circuit shown, by turning on and off the four power semiconductor switches, the terminal voltage to the motor VA, can be varied from minus VD to plus VD, which is normally almost the peak of the line-to-line -line voltage of AC source. When a DC machine operates as a generator, it means that when a DC motor is operating in regenerative braking mode, the link voltage VD, will increase due to the energy accumulated in the DC link capacitor. To prevent the overvoltage of a DC link, the discharging switch implemented by a power semiconductor, turns on and the regenerated energy, is dissipated at a resistor RDB, as a form of the heat. This kind of braking energy absorbing method is called dynamic braking. Through the four quadrant chopper circuit, the current regulation bandwidth, can be easily extended up to several thousand radians per second. If the reference voltage for the armature circuit VA stern, is given, the voltage is limited within the allowable control range, which is usually the minimum value of DC link voltage, through the limiter. The output of the limiter, VC stern, is compared with the triangular carrier wave, whose frequency is the switching frequency of DC-DC converter. Through the comparison, the switches are turned on or turned off. The frequency of current ripples to the armature winding, is twice the switching frequency or twice of the carrier frequency. Hence, by increasing the switching frequency, the torque ripples and the acoustic noise due to the current ripples, can be reduced. In particular, if the switching frequency is above 10 kHz, then audible noise from a DC machine can be perfectly eliminated. For the torque control of a DC machine, whose power rating is less than several tens of kilowatts, the four-quadrant DC-DC power converter described is widely used. The switching frequency FS, of the power semiconductors in the power converter, is usually much larger than the bandwidth frequency of the current regulator. In this case the voltage applied to the electric machine, can be assumed as the commanded voltage itself without any time delay, and the power converter can be modeled as a voltage amplifier, without any internal dynamics and as a simple amplifier with constant gain K. At given constant switching frequency, the available maximum current regulation bandwidth, 
depends on the current sampling method and control period. If the inertia of the machine and load is large enough, to consider back EMF, as constant in the design of the current regulator, then the machine can be modeled as simple RL load, with constant disturbance voltage E. If the back EMF voltage can be estimated from the speed of the machine, and back EMF is constant, then by feed-forward compensation, the disturbance by back EMF can be rejected perfectly. In addition to this rejection of the disturbance voltage, by cancelling the pole of the system, which comes from RALA with a zero of PI regulator, the transfer function of the closed loop system, can be set as that of the first order low pass filter. This kind of gain tuning method, is referred to as the technical optimum. Under this gain tuning method, the proportional and integral gain can be set as, and then the closed loop transfer function of the current regulator, is deduced like. After deciding the bandwidth, the gains are calculated directly from the parameters of a DC machine. With this gain setting, the response of the current regulator is well defined, without any overshoot and no steady state error.